Hey everybody, it's Eric from Professional DJ Solutions. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a review of three separate headphones. Um, let me go ahead and go through the three right now, what they are. Um, we've got the Pioneer, um, H HDJ 500s. So these are the Pioneer HDJ 500s. Then I have the Sony MDR V700s and the Techniques RP DH1200s. Okay, those are the three headphones I'm going to be uh, talking about, reviewing um, today. So I'm going to compare and contrast um, the features and the sounds. First, we're going to go through the features. So we'll start with the Pioneer HDJ500s. I got silver ones. I actually won these uh, at a Mobile Beat tour when it came to Indianapolis. I was so stoked. Um, anyways, thank you Pioneer, thank you Mobile Beat for that. But um, let's just talk about these headphones real quick. Okay, they're on-ear headphones. That means that when they sit on your head and on your ear, the cups, the pads, actually sit on your ears. Okay, that's the first thing I want to talk about. Um, I don't, that's not my preference. I'd rather it be over the ear, around the ear, however you want to call it. Um, that's one thing I don't like about them, but if, if you like it that way, you know, that's your per preference. My preference is I don't like that. Um, the other thing is, uh, the cable, it's a little bit thinner cable than the other two that I have, but um, it is detachable. So you can detach it. Um, I don't know if you're transporting or something and you want to make sure you don't break it off or something. But uh, it is a detachable cable on this one. It does not fold up. That's one thing I don't like about it. It is a little bit lighter weight, especially for a DJ headphone. Uh, headphones that you normally see. One key thing I like about it, which is this. The right ear cup actually swivels. So if you're doing queuing up a song and trying to listen to what's coming out of your main speakers to um, mix the next song in, you can have that. It's still sitting on your head the same way if you had it on normally, except that cup flips up. So you have this ear open, so you can hear what's going on, uh, queuing up in this ear, and hear what's coming out of the monitors in this ear. I thought that feature is really cool. I know a few other headphones are coming out like that now. That's one feature I really like about it. Um, it doesn't fold up. That's one thing I don't like uh, for transport or whatever. That's kind of the features on it right there. Um, let's go move on to the next one. And uh, the Sony MDR V700s. These are popular, real popular there for a while. I've had mine for a while. Um, these are your almost you know, normal DJ headphones anymore. This is kind of what you like. Uh, they got the swivel ear, both cups, both ear cups swivel inward, um, outward, whatever you want to say. And then you can flip them around for, you know, one ear monitoring either way on both of them um, it's got the uh, you can fold them up to transport them I got bags I bought um, ultimate DJ gear headphone bags to protect them while they're in storage or you're transporting them but you can just fold them up like this curl up the cord and put it in there um, these ones are over over the ear design which I like that better um, with these. They go pretty much around your ear, you know, over your ear like that, instead of exactly on them. But with these ones, I found out the uh, padding is not that thick. It's actually kind of hard. These are old. These are pretty old headphones. I've had them for a while. So I don't know if they were like that at first, but um, it's just not that much padding to get around your ear. But anyways, that's the style I like. Um, one thing about these is it doesn't have a removable cord. The cord's in there. Always. So if you break a cord, you can't really just go and buy a new one and plop it in there. Um, one thing I didn't get to talk about on the other one was your... Uh, actually, on the Pioneer, it has the same thing. It's got a straight uh, quarter inch that's screwed on. And then you got your eighth inch. Okay. Any pro headphone should have that screw, you know, your quarter inch adapter, or yeah, your quarter inch adapter screw on there. 
It's a big deal. I like that. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. The Techniques RP DH1200s. And these are my favorite headphones that I own. These are the three headphones. I got some other headphones that are crap that I have. But um, these are my favorite right now. These are a little bit heavier than both the other ones. But it pretty much has all the same features as the uh, Sony ones. Except it actually has a detachable cord. Okay. Which is real cool. You can um, detach the cord. Fold it up. Put it in its bag. And then fold up the cable. Throw it in the bag. And you're ready to go. You don't have to worry about it all being together. Um, one thing I don't like. The uh, adjustments here. They're supposed to lock in. They kind of do. They don't lock the greatest. Like this one definitely slides a lot worse than the other one. I don't know if it got worn out or what. But um, it's a lot. these ones are actually com more comfortable than both the other ones to me. These are an over-the-ear headphone. And these pads, I don't know if you probably can't see, these pads are a lot more cushioned than the Sony's. Which makes them um, a lot more comfortable. And they actually go over your ear. And uh, noise cancellation is really good on these. Um, the Sony's, that might be because the cushions are worn out or they're just not as good as these, the techniques. And then the um, on-ear Pioneers, they, they block out the sound too um, pretty well. Now let's talk, talk about sound quality. Um, and I'm kind of going from cheapest to most expensive when I'm talking about them. It really doesn't matter, but that's what I'm doing. Pioneers, um, I think these go for $100, around $100. Um, sound quality, uh, they're really good. Um, for being the cheaper of the three, it's got a decent bass response, and uh, the treble is pretty clear itself. Um, I actually like these headphones. I usually use these mostly for listening to music while I'm on my computer, on my laptop, or on my desktop, whatever. But that's what I usually use them for. Sound quality is pretty good on these. The bass response is pretty good. Um, on the Sony's, um, it's lacking a little in the bass. But other than that, they're they're good. It's just, just I wish I had just a little bit more bass. Um, but it's it, they're they're clear clear sounding and they do have a little bass but I wish I had a little bit more um, and then the techniques they've got a little bit more bass than both the other ones um, got really good bass response maybe just a tad too much um, because sometimes when I'm listening to music I like to listen to music loud and uh, I think the bass takes away a little bit from the clarity of the highs um, because like I was testing them out last night, side by side, I'd unplug one, plug the other one in. I listened to different genres of music. I noticed these things were just drowning, uh, just killing it with bass. And I think it was kind of hurting the, the highs a little bit because of all that bass. Um, then the Sonys, you, didn't, you heard a little bass, but not much at all. They were clear. The highs were really clear, but the bass was lacking, especially compared to techniques and then the pioneer headphones bass response is pretty good and uh, I think they kept it to where it it's right there where it keeps the clarity of the highs too so um overall I'd say these ones have the pioneers have the best sound quality in my opinion out of the three but um depending on the application what you're using them for um, I'm not taking these to any gigs when I'm DJing just for the fact that they don't fold up and uh, wouldn't fit in the bags I have for them. Um, that's that's pretty much the only thing. But sound quality is really good. I haven't got to use them in a because I don't DJ with them, so I don't know if the noise cancel cancellation is great. But um, it's still good sounding headphones. I mean, if you're in the market for some headphones, a hundred bucks, Pioneer, can't go wrong with that. Just the fact that they don't fold up and they're on ear. <laughs> I don't like that part. The Sony's um, hundred and I want to say 120. Then you get these for 120 bucks. They'll work. They're good. Um, but for 120 bucks, I'd hope. I guess I'd hope to get something a little bit better with a little bit better bass response. But they still work. 
they're loud. Um, the, only, the only thing I have about it, the pads aren't very cushiony and the cable is not deta detachable. Now, the techniques, I'm still, these are what I'm taking. When I go DJ, I'm taking my technique techniques. That's what I like. Um, the noise cancellation is great. They're really comfortable. Um, the bass response is a little, a little too much, but guess what? I don't care. I like bass. So, overall, DJing, I'm going to say these are the best. Um, sound quality. This is just my opinion, though. Other people can hear, listen to them and say a totally different thing. Um, but yeah, that's my review on the, the three headphones. And um, please leave your comments. And if you want to suggest some other headphones that you know of um, that you think can compete with those, let me know. One other thing I want to say is I I know this doesn't do any justice, but I, a lot of people are talking about the Beats by Dr. Dre and uh, Monster Cable. I tested them out. The... Uh, DJ Pros or something, the Beats Pro, not the studio ones. But those are the ones that caught my attention, except for the, their price tag is just ridiculous. But I like it. It's got the swivel ear, cup two, or not swivel, but where it turns so you can use it for queuing while you're DJing. Like that. Don't like the price tag. Sound quality. I didn't compare them side by side, but I thought these were just pretty much pretty darn close to the Beats. And these are 170 The beats are like $400, something like that. I don't know. But you guys, leave your comments. Uh, whatever headphones you think are great or the ones you use, cheap or expensive, I don't care. Um, let us know. Thanks. And please comment and subscribe.